All right, and welcome to Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I and our updated how-to series for 2025, where we show you how to do stuff with Microsoft products. But this is... What? Yes, I did say we show you how to use Microsoft products and then surprise, out pops an iPad, but why? Well, because Microsoft 365 subscriptions play nice with Apple's iOS systems, be that an iPad or iPhone, and Microsoft are all about that cross-platform harmony. So, how do you get Microsoft 365 on your iPad or iPhone? Well, first things first, grab your shiny new iOS device and head straight to the App Store and type Microsoft 365 into the search bar. Once you spot it, it looks like this, tap the get button and claim your productivity treasure. Make sure you already have done this bit because you're gonna need it for the next part of the video. Now, the next part has a few ways in which you can activate Microsoft 365, depending where you are in your Microsoft 365 journey. So we have cut up this video into little slices so you can just consume the piece that you need, or you can consume all the pieces if that's what you really want. That reminds me, I've got some cake over there. Hmm. Section one is the section for you if you already have a Microsoft 365 subscription and you want to know how to activate it on your iOS device. Section two is for those who have a pre-purchase code from either a local retailer or an online one and have a 25 digit code to hand to activate Microsoft 365. And section three is if you don't have Microsoft 365 at all, and you want to subscribe monthly or annually on your iOS device. So make the choice that you need and go to that bit, either by using the links in the description below or following these timestamps here, and I'll see you over there. If you want to stay here though, then sorry, I've got some cake to eat, so. You're still here. Go. If you have a Microsoft 365 license already, then open up the Microsoft 365 app we downloaded earlier. Then select existing Microsoft 365 users and sign in to your Microsoft account that you linked your Microsoft 365 license to. Then watch all of your files appear. And from here, you can either download the apps individually or create something using the app of your choice. Now with added AI features, thanks to Copilot. And if you wanna find out more about this, then check out this video. With a pre-purchase code, you will need to activate this before jumping into the Microsoft 365 app. Now to do this, open up your choice of internet browser and go to microsoft365.com forward slash setup. The link is in the description. Once there, click Get Started and sign in to your Microsoft account, a live Outlook or Hotmail email address, for example. Or you can create a new Microsoft account here because you will need it and it's free, yeah. The account you sign into is the account the Microsoft 365 license will be linked to. Now for the important bit, the product key, the 25 digit code on the back of the card that you bought, or you may have received it as part of your online purchase. Stick that into these boxes and then tap next. Confirm your product key is the right one and press next. This next window is if you want to set up recurring billing, which will come into effect after the year you've just bought runs out at $104.99 annually for a family subscription and $84.99 for a personal one. Now you have two choices here. You can either accept this, and if you do, you get a free month added to your subscription before it renews. Or you can say, no thanks. Now, if you wanna go for it, then click add payment method and add your payment details. But they are your details. So again, we cannot help here with that. And once you're done, follow the instructions to finish the redemption. Then there is the other option, and that's if you don't want to activate recurring billing. If this is the case, then just click no thanks, and then check out the terms and conditions, and then check the box if you want to receive tips or offers about Microsoft products or services moving forward. Once you've done all of that, click redeem. 
Now it's time to go back to the Microsoft 365 app that we downloaded earlier. Then select existing Microsoft 365 users and then sign in with the account that you've just linked the Microsoft 365 license to. You can now start your adventure with Microsoft 365 on your iOS device. If you don't have Microsoft 365 at all and want to subscribe from your shiny new iOS device, then start by opening up the Microsoft 365 app that we downloaded earlier. You will then be faced with the choice of either get started with Microsoft 365 or existing Microsoft 365 user. To subscribe monthly, choose the get started option, which will take you to your options. These options being Microsoft 365 Personal or Family. Microsoft 365 Personal is a one user license that will give you access to the premium office apps, one terabyte of cloud storage, and can be used on up to five devices at £8.49 a month. Microsoft 365 Family gives you the same premium apps and OneDrive cloud storage and can be shared with up to five other people with each person being able to use it on up to five devices each and getting their own one terabyte OneDrive cloud storage to use. And this will cost £10.49 a month. And doing it this way, you even get a one month free trial to try it out. Once you have chosen which of the licenses is most appropriate for you, hit the start one month free trial and then next log into the Microsoft account that you want the license attributed to. This will either be an at live, at Outlook or at Hotmail email address, for example. And if you don't have one or want a new one, then just simply choose the create one hyperlink. Next up, you may have to enter your Apple ID info followed by a screen that is a confirmation screen that goes through some of the information about the purchase. For example, how this is a no commitment license that you can cancel at any time in the settings of your Apple ID. It also gives you the monthly cost and the date of the first payment, which will come out of the account that you have linked to your Apple ID. Next, confirm when you are ready by clicking subscribe. And remember, you have that first month free trial to try it out to make sure that you're happy and you can cancel anytime when you're paying monthly. Once you've followed all the remaining steps, you will then have full access to the app. Now, if you prefer the idea of an annual subscription, then by opening your choice of internet browser and heading to Microsoft365.com, you can do this too. Once here, click Get Microsoft 365, and then you will be able to see all of the different versions of Microsoft 365. Now, there's a lot of information here about what you get with the subscription, like the premium office apps, the terabyte of cloud storage with Microsoft OneDrive, and ad-free email and calendar experiences with Outlook. Next, choose which license suits you best. For $84.99 per year, there is Personal, which is for just one person, giving them all of the benefits of Microsoft 365 for up to five devices. Then there is Microsoft 365 Family for $104.99 per year, which can be shared with up to six people in total, each getting access to all of the great features and benefits of Microsoft 365. Select Buy Now on the license that you want, and then sign in to the Microsoft account that you want to link it to, or go ahead and create a new one. The next bit I can't really help you with as it's your bank details that are needed. So follow the rest of the steps, confirming payment, etc. And then once you're done, head back to the Microsoft 365 app that we downloaded earlier. Once there, select existing Microsoft 365 user and sign into the same account you used to purchase Microsoft 365 and you will be good to go. And there you have it, job done. You're all set to enjoy the perks of premium office apps to whip up anything that your heart desires and a whopping one terabyte of OneDrive cloud storage to safely stash those priceless family photos and documents. Oh, and as a bonus, you can have it all on up to five devices, nice. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with more videos like this, especially if you've got multiple devices hanging around the house and you want to activate Microsoft 365 on those too. And maybe drop a comment below letting us know which section of this video you found most useful. Thanks for watching. I've been Matt and you have been watching Microsoft Expert Zone UK and I, and I will check you all on the flip side. Peace.